So we got our HelloFresh box. And inside it, they have the insulation and then they bag everything up so nicely and neat for you. So each meal that you order, all the ingredients that come for it come in this bag. And then there's an ice pack in the bottom to keep everything cold. And it sends you, they send you the recipe cards. So in that tiny bag came all of these ingredients. We got peppers, onion, this really kind of ugly tomato, but whatever. Cilantro, cheese, chicken stock, tomato paste, chipotle powder, sour cream, and fajita spice blend and this stuff kind of looks like an airplane bottle but it's just vinegar and it's all like portioned out for you so you don't have to measure anything you literally just dump it all in whenever you're ready to use it so that makes it easy for me because I don't like to measure stuff Boom. all the seeds to so while Jonathan is finishing cutting up the vegetables, I'm going to cook the meat. So, says a little dribble. No, that wasn't hardly a dribble at all. Oh God. <laughs> a little dribble of that. And you put the meat in and it looks really disgusting because there's a lot of blood. But we're just going to cook it like you would normal meat. So this tomato was kind of oh god kind of gross so we're not going to use the whole thing plus we don't really like tomatoes all that much so we're only using like half of what we're supposed to nope don't cut onions and pepper and then touch your nose it's like pepper spray it burns really really bad i'm sorry it's okay as you can see in step two we were also supposed to pickle the onion but Jonathan kind of mixed it all together this already. Is a, this is a Jonathan show. So. Yeah, so I guess screw the screw the directions. We're just making our own meal That's with right, these ingredients. You gotta add your own jam. Yeah, so we're just gonna put it all in the pan at the same time and not pickle it because I don't know. I guess we'll just keep this cute little thing of vinegar. Pickle something. We'll pickle something else. <laughs> You move the meat to a different bowl once it's cooked and then you put all of the vegetables in here and let them cook for a little while and then we're gonna mix it all together and since it's tacos you want to cut it up probably a little smaller than I did but oh well put that vinegar stuff in all this Ooh, salad plan so instead of pickling the onions I guess we're just gonna pickle all of it oh that stinks Voila. Voila. Oh, they, they, they smell so good. <laughs> so these are soft, so we're going to add the meat back into it, plus chipotle powder, fajita spice blend, chicken stock concentrate, and tomato paste. It says to only use half of this, but we have no other use for it. So we're just going to use the whole thing and see how it turns out. Ready then? Yep. Yeah. Get the dang thing open. All right, gonna have to be good enough. Oh, that smells spicy. Yeah, it does. That might not have been a good idea. It's gonna be so spicy, I'm gonna throw up. Looks like dirt. It does. Oh god. Hands. Stop! Mm. That's so nice. That's as good as I'm it just is. kidding. I think my girlfriend's beautiful. <laughs> and then we're just going to stir it all together. 
That looks kind of nasty. Oh, we need water. Fourth cup of water. Just fill a little in that. So another thing is you're supposed to put this cheese on at the end like you would in normal taco, but we think it tastes better when it's all melted in. So that's what we're doing. Because we don't really follow the rules at all. And Jonathan is chopping up the cilantro. Word. And we are going to put this on the top because cilantro. we just are. <laughs> Dampening the paper towel, we're going to heat up the tortillas in the microwave for... 30 seconds. We also mixed in the sour cream because it smells super spicy and I don't like spicy stuff. So I'm hoping it will cool down the spice a little. El mouth is watering. Hopefully it's yummy. Okay, moment of truth. Jonathan said these are spicy, so I'm probably gonna hate them, but we'll see. That is spicy. <laughs> it's spicy as shit. That's real spicy, but it's good. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through too. But it's good. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten just because I don't like spicy. What are you giving the tacos? Eight. Why? Why an eight? Because it made my girl's mouth on fire. Okay. Well, minus that, no. would it be a ten? Um. No. All right, catch you guys tomorrow when we make the next meal. Okay, so disclaimer, um, I just had to pause in the middle of eating that and my mouth's on fire and I'm sweating because it was so spicy. And this tea is not cutting it for cooling my mouth down. Wow. Today we are making buffalo spiced crispy chicken cutlets with mashed potatoes and broccoli. Let's go. So we got chicken, lots of sour cream, and I just dropped it on the floor. Green onions, broccoli, lots of potatoes, Frank's Red Hot Seasoning, cheese, honey, and breadcrumbs because it's crusted chicken. So we will see how this turns out. Cutting up the broccoli. I don't know how. It just said bite sized pieces. So we're gonna mix these two together because that's what it says to do. Mix it together with a fork. Jonathan is dicing. Jonathan is dicing. <laughs> He's dicing the potatoes. You're doing a great job, honey. Look at those solid dices. Oh, wow. Now we need the butter. Butter. says we need a tablespoon, so I'm just gonna do a spoonful. I don't know how much a tablespoon is. We're just gonna go with that much. And then we have to microwave it till it melts. Can you open the microwave please, sir? All right, we're doing 15 seconds. 
So 15 seconds may have been too much because now it's on the ceiling of the microwave. <laughs> I'm starting to think I'm very bad at cooking in general. So now we're going to mix in the cheese, the breadcrumbs, and the rest of this. We'll see how it turns out. Because there's really hardly any butter left. Now we're going to mix it all together. This smells spicy. This can take a lot of water. Yeah, well. We're gonna dump all these potatoes in here. And then you're gonna cut up the oh, slide away things. And then I'll cut up the other two, yes. Yeah. I feel like I'm about to make a mess. <laughs> oh no, water's going everywhere. Help me. <laughs> oh man, this is not a good idea. I should have just picked them up. Minimal mess. What do we do now? Um, pat dry with paper towels. That's gonna be nasty. I already know that's gonna be good. Right, right. I'll finish. I have no idea. Okay, okay. patting them. Patting them dry. I've never done this before. I feel like this is kind of gross. Isn't it gonna get paper on it? Does it say do it with a paper towel? Yeah. Okay, well. Spin it so it's season with salt. Nice. Garlic salt. We're putting this bone suck on chicken season though. Oh, are we? We better come do it. Those are like strips. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know how to slice cut this. So. Yeah. So you're supposed to do it all in one pan, but we're making extra chicken. So we're doing chicken on one and then broccoli on the other. So we're gonna put this mixture on top. So we're gonna press it into this. It says you only need to do one side. I don't really know why, but I think this might be easier with my fingers. So this is what they all look like. These were a little skinny, so they were kind of hard to get some of the stuff on, as you can see. But we're about to put them in the oven. Preheat to 425 and then top rack for 15 to 18 minutes. Both top rack, because they're supposed to be on the same pan, remember? And our potatoes are boiling. We're gonna mash those in a minute. And Jonathan added garlic to them. Cause you know us, always adding stuff that's not supposed to be in there. Ain't Dad, that right? I don't really eat mashed potatoes. Cause he's a weirdo. Yeah. Well. I'm definitely putting A1 sauce in this. So then we're adding butter and sour cream to the potato mashing mix. I'm so happy I bought this mashed potato masher and I haven't used it in a year until now. I was a fan until you put sour cream in there. It's all right. We forgot to set a timer, so we're about to check the chicken because we don't know if it's done or not on the inside. 
I'm gonna say it's It's been approximately done. 10 minutes, we think. But our mashed potatoes are done. We're gonna need to add water because they're a little dry, but. Yeah, no, they need about five more minutes. Five more minutes? Five more minutes. Final product. How you feeling, Jonathan? Hungry. Yo, it is banging. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend HelloFresh. I would honestly rate it like a seven, but that's only because I got the mashed potatoes done too early and that and the broccoli were a little cold. But the chicken was real good. Yeah. So, Solid. definitely buy. order HelloFresh. Give us some free meals, HelloFresh. Today, we're making pork sausage and roasted bell pepper pasta. Are you excited? Nope. <laughs> And Jonathan already cut up the garlic, and we got this teeny tiny little pepper. What is this? A chili? A chili yeah, pepper. Yeah, it's a little chili. I thought it was a crumb. He thought it was a crumb. Parmesan cheese. Oh, that's upside down. Parmesan cheese, tomato paste, a red bell pepper. Um, I'm assuming that this is heavy whipping cream, but I don't really know. And pasta. The sweet Italian pork sausage. It's like little brats. So let's get started. Even though Jonathan already did. I was just trying to get ahead of the game. We're preheating to 400. Bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. So you need to have the bell pepper next. So you put the bell peppers on here and then you drizzle oil on it. Then you put the garlic in here and you wrap it up and you put it in the center. And you cook it for 25 minutes, it says. So Jonathan decided he wanted to take a bite of the chili pepper by itself. It's fucking hot. So then we're gonna jump the pasta in since the water is boiling. Okay, that's good. Oh yeah. Wow, why did it come out like that? Because they're sausages. You should probably me. turn this on so they'll cook. Oh, I thought you did. So you cook these while this is cooking. Oh, timer, 11 minutes. Where's my phone? Set a timer for 11 minutes. Yeah, you add the whole thing. It's tomato paste for those of you that can't see it because Jonathan is bad and didn't show you. Hey, everybody, look. It's, <laughs> it's upside down. This man really spit in my eye. She started it, YouTube followers. Sorry. Subscribers. <laughs> no. And then you put Half of that water that I saved over there from the pasta. Well, you may have used too small of a pan. Again, we're, we're not experts at this by any means. I said half. I'm not half. Maybe. And then you mix it all together. In the tiny pan. This is what I use for my eggs in the morning. Yeah, this may not have been the right size. Cut your bell peppers up into smaller pieces. They don't probably have to be that small. It said strips, but Jonathan's uh, dicing. So. Uh, uh, I'm getting Again, it. we're not the greatest at cooking in general. I'm cooking this whole meal, people, so. Not well. Okay, so we're gonna just dump all this in here. You're supposed to dump the cream sauce in this little pan, but we got too small. We're not doing that. We're doing it my way. Like a milk Okay, and then we need the bell peppers. Bon Appetit! Bon Appetit, you know? I thought you said Bon Appetit. I did. Oh, the Parmesan. Jonathan doesn't like it, but I don't care. More of a pepper jack guy. 
All right, cool, let's eat. First bite. Dang. What do you rate it? That's a, that's a, that's a probably seven. I'm not a big cheese fan, probably about seven or eight. That's good. It tastes mainly the sausage. Ew, I look like an egg. Oh my heaven. I also mainly taste the sausage. The sausage is heavy. Mm-hmm. A little spicy. I don't really like spicy, but it's pretty good. Probably wouldn't make it again just because, I don't know. But I'm gonna eat it for now, so. Okay, so we finished our HelloFresh box and they were good. I need you to think of them. Which one was your favorite? Um, the first one. That one was spicy. That was the tacos. That's what and I they like. They were super spicy. Very good. They were probably the best meal though, even though I don't like spicy stuff. Okay, so pros of HelloFresh. The meat, super good. Super fresh. Super fresh. It's not like, it doesn't like shrivel up when you cook it and stuff. So that's a pro. Another pro, it comes with all the ingredients. Another pro, not a whole lot of grease. Not a, a lot of grease for the meat, you're right. But it comes with all the ingredients and like it's portioned out for you. So like, you don't have to measure anything really. You just kind of pour it all in when it tells you to. If we can do it, you can do it. Yeah, I dumb. mean, we kind of don't do it how you're supposed to, but whatever. You put, you put your own flavor. You know what I mean? Cons. It's low-key really expensive. The only reason I bought it is because I got it for $20. So it's usually like $60 for three meals for two people each. So that's like six meals, I guess. It's usually like $60. And I feel like that's way too expensive and I'm not paying $60 for three meals. But I got it for 20 so that's the only reason I bought it. And I canceled my subscription as soon as I did that because I didn't want them to charge me $60. And then they sent me an email that said, if you come back, we'll give you seven free meals. So maybe we'll do that. Other cons of HelloFresh? Do you have any more cons besides that it's kind of expensive? I mean, if you, you think gotta, about it, it's- You gotta wait a few days, but- I mean, if you that. think about it, it's really not that expensive, technically. Yeah. Three meals, $10, $10 a person. I mean, that's like going out to eat, but like, I don't want to pay $60 at one time. Yeah, no, me neither. Oh, other con, you usually don't have enough leftovers. Like, it's usually just enough for one meal. Unless the, po the pasta, we had leftovers, but that was about it. We got two meals leftover with the pasta. Yeah, but usually you don't have leftovers. I scarf that sh down. Do you have anything else to say about HelloFresh? Good, bad, ugly, you know? Indifferent, no. It's Some solid. of them kind of take a long time because you got to cut all the stuff up. Which I don't really like to do, so I make him do it. Yeah. But I mean, I guess you have to do that with anything. But, I mean, it's good. It's, it's solid. nice and fresh. Get it? Hence, Hello. Hello fresh. Hello Okay, <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And we will see you next week. If she doesn't kill me.